What's up folks, today we are here in Beverly Hills, Florida and we're gonna be taking a look at two different new construction homes located here in Beverly Hills. Something cool about this community is that these are the lowest priced Deer Horton homes in all of Florida. So not just Central Florida, in all of Florida, these are the lowest priced homes. So let's go take a look, come on. Now, before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to all of the veterans out there. Today is Veterans Day, November 11th, and I'm not sure if this is gonna get posted in time, but I really wanna say thank you to all the veterans for making the sacrifices just so an average person like me can come out here and just live a normal life. I appreciate all the sacrifices you do, and also everybody who's currently in the service, I appreciate you deeply. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the front of the property, and we're gonna be taking a look at this beautiful home right behind me. This is a Freeport model. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys all the numbers on this property. I'll give you guys the price, the HOA. I'm gonna give you guys the tax amount per year, and if there is any CDD, I'll give you that amount as well. Now, this property is gonna be four bedrooms, two bath, 1,499 square feet, and it's priced under $250,000, ladies and gentlemen. Just to give you some perspective, I sold this exact same model to a client of mine just a week ago, and it sold for $289,000 in Lake Alfred, which is right next to Davenport, Florida. So that's such a big difference in price, um, and you're only a little farther away from the metropolitan cities. So all day today, I practically went all throughout Beverly Hills, Florida to see what exactly I found and practically there are a few different things that I found interesting about this city one is that you have a spring very nearby these are some pictures and videos of the spring right here it's a super cool area that you can go and hang out with your family friends have a barbecue and then another thing is you're very closely located to all the restaurants and Walmarts and Publixes that you can possibly imagine the hospital is only gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes away from here and they're also building a Target and I believe a Costco not too far away from here. So they're in the process of doing that. But what I love about Beverly Hills is it's growing just like the rest of Florida, it is growing. So this is something fantastic and I think this is a great opportunity for anybody who's looking to move or invest. Just to give you an idea of exactly where Beverly Hills is, we're an hour and a half away from Tampa, Florida. We're directly north of Tampa. So if you drive an hour and a half north from Tampa, you'll find Beverly Hills. And if you drive an hour and a half west from Orlando, you will find Beverly Hills. And if you drive 45 minutes southwest of Ocala, you'll find Beverly Hills. So we're 45 minutes from Ocala, an hour and a half from Tampa and Orlando. And we're only about 30 minutes from the beach, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so we're gonna be about 30 minutes away from the west coast. This is gonna be the Gulf of Mexico, a very relaxed beach, the water's super clear. Today is just one day after Hurricane Nicole came through Florida. Um, it was a category one, so it was fairly weak. It was nothing really to be worried about. But just to give you a point of reference, we're a little more inland. So if a hurricane does come, like Hurricane Ian, it's not gonna be a category four by the time it hits Beverly Hills. It'll be a category two, maybe even a category one. So we're in closer to the central of Florida where if a hurricane did come, it would definitely make less of an impact in this area. Obviously, I talked to the community builders and they said that during Hurricane Ian, they had no problems with flooding. They had no problems with anything on the homes. A few shingles fell off a few properties and that was pretty much it. But if you guys have any questions about safety of hurricanes and how we deal with it as Floridians, just ask in the comments and I'd love to answer any of your questions. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go take a look at these two homes and see what we find. Let's go. So 
So here we are at the front of the property getting started with this amazing tour. Now, before we step inside, I just wanna give you guys a few details about this home. So all the appliances are coming with this home. Typically on Deer Horton uh, Express Homes, you're not gonna have the washer, dryer, microwave. All those things are coming with the home and plus the fridge, dishwasher, um, and the stove. So all appliances are coming with the home. So you can walk in here and practically just start living right away. Just get your furniture and we're good to go. Also, 15 minutes away from here, we have a VA medical center. So that is something super cool that I didn't know until I drove in here is that you guys actually have a VA medical center. For any veterans who are interested in coming to Florida, there's a VA medical uh, center, you know, 10, 15 minutes away. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we are at the exterior of the property. Like I kind of said, this, or actually like this community is kind of like on a hill. So I'm from, I'm a Floridian born and raised and we don't, I, I don't see mountain, you know, there are no mountains here in Florida. So whenever there are hills, especially in the areas like Claremont and the west side of uh, central Florida, we have hills. So it's just such a cool look, you know, especially in a neighborhood, you know. So this home is kind of elevated, which is a great thing. You're definitely not going to get any flooding in a property like this. Um, so yeah, let's step inside. So here we are. And now this home is ready to go, ready to sell. This is the exact lot, same property that they are trying to sell right now, okay? So um, I'm gonna give you the price at the end, remember that. But over here, we're gonna have the two bedrooms and a bathroom. So this is a typical Deer Horton floor plan where they're gonna have the two bedrooms on one side of the home. Um, so here we got a window, we got the carpet inside of the bedroom, and then we're gonna have a closet right over here that we can see it's a good amount of space to hang some shirts uh, maybe put a put a dresser out here so you have a little bit more space and yeah so now let's step in across the hall we're gonna have this second bedroom now that remember this is a four bedroom home under 1500 square feet or pretty much right at it 1499 so this is the second bedroom we have here same style as that four, first bedroom carpet window and closet right over here so here we go and then this is the bathroom that we're gonna see for this bedroom for the two bedrooms that you know are on the side of it this is a formica countertop it looks like marble it looks super nice um, but this is a formica countertop you got your one sink right here your toilet bathtub just to give you an idea of the size of this bathtub i'm 5'10, 180 pounds and it'll it'll get the trick done okay so now let's step right over here and we're gonna take a left turn right over here so we're gonna have two things here so this is gonna be washer and dryer like I told you washer and dryer is coming with the property so here they are these are gonna be brand new Whirlpool appliances that come with warranty I believe a three-year warranty and then on this side so now here we are stepping into the garage and here we're gonna have a two car garage. This is super cool. It's already gonna come with the garage door opener. Usually it doesn't come with one of these and probably costs 100, $150 to get it done. Um, but this is already coming with one. So this is super, super cool. Over here, we're gonna have the water heater. We're gonna have the water heater over here and then you're gonna have your electrical panel with everything set up telling you what's the bathroom, the garage, the dish, dishwasher, everything. So that is it. Now let's get back inside and we're gonna go just around this door. So here we are and this is gonna be the third bedroom. Now this bedroom's a little bit smaller. It seems like eight by 10 feet. So if you guys have a bigger family, you wanna put some, uh, one of the kids in here, it'll be great. But also, let's say you have two kids, they already got these two rooms over here. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect um, study room, library, office, whatever it is. I know where a lot of us are working from home virtually. So this would be a perfect office. You got a, a window looking at the side of the property. And yeah, so now let's get into the main part of the house. That is what we all wanna see. And here we are. So this is the main living space we're gonna have in here. We have this extended island right over here. This is granite countertop. It's gonna have this nice black, white, and uh, kind of like a greenish countertop. 
You're gonna have the gray cabinets. Like I said, all the appliances are coming with this property. You got your uh, stove right here, microwave, fridge, and then here is the pantry. And yeah, so this is gonna be the main living space over here. So this is gonna be coming with our gray carpet. You got your windows, you got the sliding glass door to go out back. So you got a lot of natural light coming in here. This is a perfect area to have, you know, your living space. You could put a couch right here, recliners, or vice versa. Put your, your TV is probably set up to put right over here. And then your dining table, breakfast nook area would be perfect right over there. And then over here, we have our master bedroom. So this is a pretty nice space. I'm gonna open up these blinds so that we can see the backyard. This is a big plus because if you are buying a resale home in this market, a lot of the times the homeowners are taking the blinds with them. <laughs> so this is something super cool and saves you a pretty good amount of money that, you know, these, this is one of the expenses you don't really think about when coming into a home is how much blinds cost. So this house is already coming with blinds, appliances, everything, but you got a nice window. You could have a lot of natural light. If you can take a look over here, you can almost, you can just see the sun setting a little bit, the beautiful colors of the sky. It's really cool. So anyways, <laughs> this is the master bedroom. Now stepping into the master bath. And just to be super honest with you guys, if there was a downfall about this home, it's that you only have a, one vanity. You have one sink right here. Now it's not the end of the world. Um, but this is the only one downside I could say about this property is that you're gonna have one sink, your toilet right here, your walk-in showers right over here. Um, so this is a smaller master bathroom, but you do have that four bedrooms and a super great price. So, you know, you, you give and take a little bit. So now we're stepping here into the closet. So this closet space is a very good closet space. Um, you're gonna have plenty of space to just hang your clothes, and then put your shoes up here. And yeah, so for me personally, a single guy, I'm kind of, this would be, I wouldn't, I would maybe use half of this at the very most. So that is it. So now we've seen most of the house. Let's go to the backyard and see what we can find. Okay. Love the color of the clouds. But anyways, here we are at the backyard, my friends, and I really like it. <laughs> I really am vibing with this backyard. Um, just being God honest, this is a huge backyard for a typical Deer Horton home. Typically, no word of a lie, you're probably ending right here, and this is it. You know, I uh, helped a client buy a home in Ocala. It was a beautiful home, different model. It was an Aria model but the the backyard was a little smaller it was a little slanted upward so it was kind of hard to utilize it but um it was a super beauty beautiful home but the lot size was like from right here to the home this one you already got some space ladies and gentlemen and you already got someone who started the fence on this side so you don't have to pay for that you just got to pay for this i don't know if you can put a fence on that side i'll definitely ask and find out, but this is gonna be all your space. You can put a cabana, you can put in a screened in lanai. Now, this is a good point, and just to remember for future uh, videos and you know, just if you're interested in buying a home and remodeling, if you're looking to put more concrete on the property, you have to pull permits. So to get around that trick, you just lay bricks. You know, you just make it look super nice. You can put a brick walkway over here. We'll get to the cabana, then the fireplace, spread it all out and it'll look beautiful. So um, just a quick tip, if you do wanna pour cement, you gotta get permits for that. So an alternative is always bricks. Now, to end this first tour of the property, I wanna give you guys the price in HOA right here, right now. So the price of this property is $245,000, but it doesn't even stop there because they're offering you $10,000 in closing costs. Now, some of those closing costs, you can even drop the price even more. 
They even have an extra incentive that the sales manager told me about is that they could even take off another $3,000 off that. So potentially we could be looking at this property around 241 to $242,000. Ladies and gentlemen, the closing costs incentives are gonna be around 10,000. If you are a cash buyer, it's gonna be 5,000 in closing costs, 5,000 in flex cash. Flex cash you could use to buy down well, you can't really buy down a rate if you're paying cash. So it's you really just to buy down the price or spend more on, or just utilize the closing costs. Um, but yeah, so really, if you have any leftover closing costs, and typically if you're buying cash, closing costs on the new construction home are around five, $5,500 to $6,000. So you could take another $4,000 off the property. You could be getting in this home under $240,000 and you pay taxes on that amount not what is the assessed value or you know the market value it's what you bought it for so that's what you pay taxes on now speaking of taxes it's going to be around 1.3 to 1.4 percent of the price of the home so i'm no math wizard but 1.3 percent of 240,000 3,000, 2,800 to 3,200. I'm gonna say in between that range is what the taxes are gonna be. And that's without homestead. Homestead practically is um, a benefit that you get for living in Florida. So you can take off $50,000 off the taxable value of your home. So let's say you applied for a homestead, they could take off $50,000 off that taxable value. So they might only tax you $190,000 on this home. So now we're talking an even lower tax amount that you're paying per year. Lastly, the HOA is $33 per month, around $400 per year. And um, doesn't come with much to be quite honest. They're gonna maintain the grounds. They're gonna maintain the community areas. They do have fiber optic lights. So a lot of all the lights in the, for the houses, the community lights, they ran wires underground. So, um, you know, I don't know specifically, they told me it's fiber optic. I don't know much about it, I'm gonna find out. But yeah, so that's another thing that comes with it. And we have a golf course around the entire property. Uh, that is separate from this property, but it is a golf course that you can sign up for. You can play daily, play and pay daily, or you can get a membership. And I think the lady told me it was around $3,000 per year. Anyways, that is it. Now let's go take a look at this second home. This is gonna be a Cali model under $295,000. Just to give you a perspective in Orlando, those are selling for a minimum $360,000, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go take a look. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the second property we're gonna be taking a look at. This is gonna be a Cali model. It's four bedrooms, two bath, 1,828 square feet, and this is the lowest price Cali model in all of Florida. Yeah, all of Florida, this is the lowest price Cali model, so something spectacular. Now let's go take a look. So stepping into the property, first thing we're gonna notice, we're gonna have this ceramic tile in the kitchen and the, in the bathrooms and the entrance of the home. And then over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna have the two bedrooms and a bathroom. So let's step into this first bedroom right over here. And this is gonna be coming with some carpet. You're gonna have a beautiful big window overlooking the front of the yard. And then you're gonna have a nice closet space as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other bedroom, which is right across the hall. Now this is gonna be the same size bedroom. These are about 12 by 10 feet. This is the nice closet that's gonna come with the, with the room. And yeah, this is gonna come with carpet. You got your window facing the side of the house and that is it. So over here in between these two rooms, we are going to have this bathroom that is probably is gonna be shared between those two rooms. So you're gonna have the Formica countertops. You're gonna have the nice toilet. You're gonna have the bathtub with the shower head. And yeah, so this is the bathroom. Now let's step over onto this side of the house. Now over here, let's just go straight into it. We're gonna have the third bedroom. Now this is gonna be, this can be a third bedroom, an office space, 
This could even be a library, however you want to structure it. But if you have a big family, this is perfect to have this extra bedroom in here. You got your window as well. And this bedroom actually seems a little bigger. You got your, clo your closet right over here. And that is it. So over here on the right hand side, this is going to be the laundry room. Um, so here's where your washer and dryer is going to be. This is the model home right now. So they have it as a, they have a printer and I'll show you right behind us. This is going to be the garage. But as of right now, this is renovated into an office. So this is going to be a two car garage. And now let's turn around and here we are into the living room, kitchen and dining room. So we're going to have a beautiful open floor plan, ladies and gentlemen, on this property. Now this is a pretty big home. It's 18, 1,828 square feet. And yeah, so we're gonna have a big living space. We're gonna have a big kitchen with this huge island in the kitchen. Now this is gonna be granite countertop. All the appliances come with the home. Washer, dryer, stove, microwave, fridge, dishwasher. Everything's coming with the property. So um, here, these are all gonna be Whirlpool appliances. So yeah, so here's your granite countertop. You got these nice, white cabinets coming with the property. And here you are, have your pantry. Now I am guilty, I've already snacked on like half of the snacks in here, so. But yeah, it's a pretty nice pantry. And yeah, so, and then you're gonna come with this, this Whirlpool fridge. You're gonna have the left side as the freezer, right side as the fridge. And then you got some extra countertop space over here. Put your coffee maker and all your good stuff. So here you're, it can be a nice dining room area or breakfast nook area. They currently have a table that holds about six people right now. So it's a pretty big table and a good amount of space. You could put a bigger table. Um, you definitely have the space for it. And then over here, we're gonna be in the living room. So, you know, this is structured out really well because it makes it easy for you to know where to put your stuff. So you're gonna put your couch, couch over here, couch right there can put your lawn, your, not your lawn chairs here, your recliners over here, your TV right here, and there you have it. Now, follow me, let's get into this master bedroom. So here we are in the master bedroom, and yeah, so this is gonna come with carpet as well. This is a pretty large master. This is a king size bed, just to give you an idea, super big. Um, and yeah, you got your nice windows looking out to the back of the home. In this particular home, you can actually look out onto the golf course. So there's a golf course that is literally wrapped around this neighborhood. So you could golf every day. They have a membership. I think it's around $3,000 a year, but yeah. And then typically, this is something I get when I'm, you know, clients are calling me for a DR Horton home. They're like, hey, do I see this AC unit on the outside of the property. So typically it's not gonna be visible, it's gonna be on this side, but this other AC unit outside is there just for the garage. So that's just there for the garage for where the um, model office is gonna be. So you're not gonna be able to see that, you're only gonna have that one to the side in between the living room and the master. So. Here we are in the master bathroom. This is gonna come with Formica countertops. You have the double vanity. You have your walk-in shower. You're gonna have two closet space, spaces. So here's the first space. This one's a little bit smaller. And then over here, you're gonna have the second closet space. So perfect. So this is the second closet space. So you have plenty of closet space in here. And then you have your private toilet right over here. So we can even close this door. And there we are. So now let's go outside, take a look at the lot and see what we have over here. So this model is gonna come with a small patio space right over here. You can get that screened in without the without asking the HOA, which is really nice. Um, and then, yeah, you're gonna have a nice lot. So the average lot in this community is gonna be around 0.17 to 0.2 acres. So that is actually fairly large for a DR Horton home. Um, you, you're gonna have a lot of space on these lots. 
compared to the typical, you know, DR Horton homes. Um, and yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you know, the scenery all around this neighborhood is beautiful. You have the golf courses, you actually have some hills. You know, if, if you're a Floridian like me, we don't have, we don't see mountains or hills. Like the only places you see hills is in Claremont and you know, the west side of Florida. So, you know, to me, it kind of seems like a mountain range, but to the average person, you know, it's just a hill, but it's nice to have that different heights and elevation. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get back inside and I'll give you all the details on the price, taxes, HOA, and exactly what it covers. Let's go. So here we are at the end of this tour and I'm super excited to give you guys all the numbers, the details on this last property we're seeing today. So this property is currently selling for $291,000 and this is the lowest priced model in all of Florida. So this is an incredible price for an incredible product. They're giving you $10,000 in closing cost incentives and if you're a cash buyer, and they're gonna give you $5,000 $5, in closing costs and $5,000 in flex cash. That flex cash, you could do it to do, um, you could practically use it to pay the rest of your closing costs, which will, if you're paying cash, it'll come around $5,500, $6,000. So you're only having that. And then the rest, you could do it to drop the price of the home even more. So the great thing about that is, let's say you have the extra 5K, you can drop the price down to 286 and you only pay taxes on the price of your home that you purchased it for. So you'll be paying taxes on the 286. Now, talking about, speaking about taxes, the taxes are gonna be around 1.3% of the purchase price of the property. So you're looking at around, you know, 3,500 to 4,000 after homestead. So yeah, that's more or less the price range you're looking at for some of these homes, 3,500 to $4,000 if you do homestead and use this as a primary residence. The HOA for this community is gonna be around $33 per month, and that's gonna come with practically just the maintenance of the common grounds of the community. Also, you're gonna have a police car that's gonna be monitoring the neighborhood every week, you know, making sure everything's going okay. And also, you're gonna have fiber optic lights coming into this property. So they actually dug underground this community and all the homes are connected with fiber optic light so that's a big plus and yeah that's pretty much what it comes with the hoa 33 bucks a month i think around 400 dollars a year so super low super convenient so that is it ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this tour and if you have any questions at all i have my number here in the bottom right hand corner and that is it so thank you guys for tuning in make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you at the next video take care